TC Helicon, the company behind the ever popular GoXLR and GoXLR Mini, have now released an XLR microphone. And I bet you're not going to be able to guess what they named it. GoXLR Mic. I wonder how they came up with that one. Priced at $150, it's a dynamic microphone featuring an all-metal body, multi-adjustable mount, included pop filter, and swappable colored accent rings. In this video, we'll get this unboxed and set up at my PC so you can hear exactly how it sounds and even do some comparisons to some similarly priced dynamic microphones like the PodMic and the MV7X to see if the GoXLR mic at $149 is worth your investment. So, in the box itself, looks like we get some documentation. The actual GoXLR mic itself, which definitely has a bit of weight to it. it. Looks like it already has the pop filter and the articulating joint already attached. And then we get all of those different color ring choices so we can swap out this color here to customize it. As well as the black version, there's also a white version of this microphone. Again, it comes with all of the colored rings. So I'm gonna go with the black GoXLR mic, and whilst I get that mounted up onto this boom arm here, I'll tell you about this video sponsor. If you are looking for the biggest library of high quality, royalty-free music to use on your live streams, YouTube videos, TikToks, or even podcasts, look no further than Epidemic Sound. They have a massive library of over 35,000 different tracks. I've used them on my YouTube videos and on this channel for the past four years, and I've never had a problem finding the right kind of song for a video. You can browse through the massive library by genre, by mood, by BPM, or even finding similar songs to the ones that you've used in the past. You can use the link down in the description below to use Epidemic Sound completely for free for 30 days. So what you're listening to right now is the GoXLR mic plugged directly into the WaveXLR audio interface with no processing, no effects, no filters, so you can hear directly how it sounds. My gain is set to 42 decibels or about 55%, and that has me hitting around negative 12 decibels in OBS. The mic itself feels really pretty well built. It's mostly made out of metal, really. The only bit of plastic on it is the colored accent rings. There's no flex or give in the microphone mesh cover, and there are no buttons or controls anywhere on the mic, just simply that XLR port on the back. I'm personally a big fan of the multi-adjustable mount through those two articulating joints. Uh, it's going to allow you to really position and control the direction of the microphone, which isn't always easy to do on a boom arm. One complaint is that these knobs to tighten and loosen the mount can be quite difficult to grip, and I often find myself struggling to be able to loosen them. The microphone uses a highly directional supercardioid polar pattern, so it should be good at rejecting sounds that aren't directly in front of the capsule, which we can demonstrate by turning around the microphone while speaking. So here I am speaking into the front of the microphone, into the side of the microphone, into the rear of the microphone, and finally into the other side of the microphone. You can also make some slight adjustments to the pop filter and adjust actually how far away from the capsule you have it. This is definitely the most fragile part of the microphone, even though it is still made out of metal and we can do some plosive tests now to actually see how effective it is. Katie likes cookies that she tells Ted to try. Peter has a puppy that he should keep washed and dry. Sophie looks sassy with her crazy zigzag dye. Katie likes cookies that she tells Ted to try. Peter has a puppy that he should keep washed and dry. Sophie looks sassy with her crazy zigzag dye. Katie likes cookies that she tells Ted to try. Peter has a puppy that he should keep washed and dry. Sophie looks sassy with her crazy zigzag dye. To swap out the colored rings, it's really pretty simple. You don't even need to remove the microphone from your boom arm. You just take off the pop filter and then unscrew the microphone from the mount. And then you can simply swap out to a different color and screw it back into place. It's a nice addition from TC Helicon to have all of these nine different colored rings included in the price. Personally, for me, I don't see these colored rings as a huge selling point, but I kind of presume that these were gonna be sold separately. So a thumbs up from me for not charging extra. Let's next do some comparisons with some similarly priced dynamic XLR microphones. So this is the GoXLR mic from TC Helicon. It's a dynamic XLR microphone that retails for $150. This is the Pod mic from Rode, a dynamic XLR microphone that retails for $100. And this is the MV7X from Shure, a dynamic XLR microphone that retails for $180. This is the GoXLR mic from TC Helicon. This is the pod mic from Rode. And this is the MV7X from Shure. So I think all three of these mics sound really fantastic for the money. I would say that the GoXLR mic probably is actually the most well-balanced 
certainly for my voice straight out of the box. The pod mic, it's a great spoken word microphone, but it does lack a little bit of low end. And I would say that the MV7X actually suffers from the opposite and lacks a little bit of clarity for my voice. But in all honesty, I think that any of these microphones can be made to sound very, very similar by just applying a little bit of an EQ, which can be done through OBS Studio or some software like Wavelink or through a hardware mixer like the GoXLR. To enhance the sound even further, I would definitely recommend adding in some compression, maybe a noise gate or expander if that's needed, as well as a limiter. If you want to learn how to apply all of those filters for your microphone, and it doesn't need to be an XLR microphone, even USB microphones this will work for, then I definitely recommend checking out the video that I did for improving your microphone sound. I'll leave that linked up in the top corner. So let me know what you guys thought of the GoXLR microphone. Personally, I think $150 is a pretty fair price. Any microphone that comes out in this $100 to $200 range is always going to be compared to the pod mic from Rode at $100, which is just such great value. And if you're on a tight budget, I certainly still think that is the best microphone for you. But with a couple of unique features like the dual articulating uh, mounting system where you can really position it and angle it properly on any kind of boom arm, as well as the built-in pop filter and swappable colored rings. If those kind of things appeal to you, then maybe the extra $50 is worth it. Let me know either way and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.